I mean, if you hit the cutscene, it makes the jump way easier, but at the same time, it loses too much time. And if you don't get it first try, the enemies are just going to bombard you. Hopefully I'm getting late night sleep tonight. Two guys. But that thing Megaspeed found where you can just charge over the bricks, that's actually really helpful. Rack one, Dan's game. The good thing about these guys is that they all die in one hit. Are you kidding me? I went too far! That was my fault. Most definitely. You're not supposed to hit that cutscene. Wow, you guys really like my rage. This Fighty Balls isn't even here. He's the biggest fan of my rage. Even though I completely messed up the bank skip, this isn't too bad. Oh, I'm going to be ahead of my PB. That's not bad. <laughs> At least I got to show the easy version of that skip. Kill those guys the way I wanted to. I wonder if throwing them into each other is faster. Okay, that was that was good. That was good. It depends on what the favor is. I won't instantly judge. It's probably going to spawn. No, he didn't spawn later. That was surprising.
Why don't you just find that online? I don't think that's enough energy to do the skip. Anyway, I died. Come on, it must be online. Well, mine would probably not even work if none of the others are working for you. I could do the mega speed strap, I'm not going to. Especially since I died. Like, dying was bad. Whoa, that was too scary. It's not a big deal, it's a not it's a little inconvenience, but it's not a big deal. Not the end of the world. And I got the other skip. And I got the, you know, helicopter skip. Still saving time compared to my PB. So that's not bad. Yeah, I think it does. Like on all three Xboxes I played this game on, it speeds up. Like it's an Xbox thing. It also happens in my Japanese copy, so yeah, it's definitely an Xbox thing. I know it doesn't. No, I know for a fact it's in the PC version. I doubt. I don't think Amazon the GameCube version either, which runs at a lower frame rate to begin with. I don't know about PS2, but I don't think PS2 does it. I can confirm, like, the frame rate increase is an Xbox thing. <laughs> it's the one thing fast about the Xbox version. Apart from the loads being pretty good. The thing that's slow are oh, blooming cutscene skips. <laughs> the only thing that's slow about the Xbox version is just skipping the blooming logos at the beginning of the game. <laughs> I think you are. It is showtime. Yes, you went that way. I mean, Xbox and Relayers so far are pretty terrible, and most games run extremely slowly. Like the Xbox emulators have a long way to go. And Dolphin's of course pretty good. Not perfect, but it's pretty good. PCSX2 is definitely improving. The Xbox emulators, they still got a way to go. By their shaft or shaft thick.
Okay, I noticed you. Oh, come on, I wasn't standing close enough. Hmm. What features are you hoping for in Dolphin Mega Speed? I mean, it depends on the game, Mega Speed. Like, it really does depend on the game. Some games have more hacks than others. Yeah, well, you're saying hacks, but what kind of hacks? Also, Mega Speed, you also got to realise that <laughs> as newer iterations of Dolphin become, they will require more power from your PC. That means that your computer will have more trouble handling the later version of Dolphin. That's something to remember. That's how I'm doing compared to my final best. I mean, cutscene triggers are invisible to begin with. <laughs> For one thing. <laughs> I mean, they are invisible. And since Cube's here, he's probably going to say, it is impossible to see them even if you, you know, hack the game to see where they could be. Cube is, you know, an expert at this sort of stuff. He has the most knowledge when it comes to game design and game programming out of all of us. That was a bad position, that's why that didn't work. You're right, Cube. It is a proper scientific unit of measurements. I tried to zoom past that car, but it was a bad idea. I 
now I've lost a ton of time because of that. I can live with that, but it's not nice. Am I supposed to boost here so I can beat all the traffic? <laughs> if there's one thing Cube is good at in this game, apart from breaking, as apart from the, you know, knowing about the game's structure and code, it's how to play the dash doubles fast. That's just one death. It's not the end of the world. It's technically not the end of sub one, but don't expect sub one no matter how this run goes. <laughs> okay, this bit's easy to skip. Like, you just zoom past these cars. And then you get really long credit meter, and that scares me. Maybe I should boost a little bit less. Yeah, I told you, I'm the, I'm the beast from Beauty and the Beast. Of course I'm posh, i got tons of money. Because I'm a prince. Boom, boom, I am a prince. It's easy to see, I'm royalty. <laughs> Yeah, last half a minute there. It's not the end of the world. Mr. Cinnamon. <laughs> he just keeps trying to guess my real name. I wonder if he'll ever get it. Spoiler, my first name is Super. <laughs> Sorry to spoil the immersion, but that's the case. Yeah, probably cube. <laughs> well, this game is a lot of really, really hard skips. That skip is easy. <laughs> And the next level is where we get into some skips which are really hard. I mean, we haven't really seen that many slow climbs in this run, but slow climbs themselves are really hard. And the weird thing is, even though Hexbox says like the changing frame rate and stuff, slow climbs are still the easiest on it, and that's just so weird. <laughs> and then the game you version with a lower frame rate, slow climbs are way harder. <laughs> it makes no sense. That skips a really dumb section, which takes like two minutes. And it's a gold as well. No, it's not a gold. I lied. I wasn't paying attention to my time correctly. I have not practiced this level at all today, so it's probably going to go really badly. Mr. 
I'm doing the Storsky way. I could have easily killed that guy, but I didn't. Yes, I got that. Let's go. <laughs> Went a little bit risky. It worked. Didn't go too risky, though, because I'm didn't. i not going for the dumb Taz strats. Not a perfect slope climb, but well, it got its second try, which is good. And I always, and I almost always fall off when I try and do that. Now that my camera is in a bad position, so I couldn't get that. But let's try that again with a better camera position. Not too slow. Let's get this first try, and then I'll be all good. Okay, nice. I don't think so. Come on, let's get cycle skips. Okay, I got cycle one skip. Okay, that was a little bit slow, but I managed. Got cycle. No, I didn't. Nearly though. So apart from missing cycle 2 skip, at the very end this was very good. Just because Duanium finds it fun, like some people like the like playing the stupidest game seriously, or the at least the weirdest games. Some people like playing Super Mario Brothers twenty four seven. Some people like playing Ocarina of Time twenty four seven. Shift underscore HD likes playing SpongeBob twenty four seven. And Duanium likes playing Rise of the Underminer twenty four seven. Here's the thing, I used to have a thing which said my IRL name in my bedroom, but I don't have any more. Yeah, and some people play rap 24 7. <laughs>
I miss the cinematic being one of them. Okay, let's get this. Yes. Nice. Please don't mess up finding Mr. Incredible. I haven't practiced it at all today. I'm actually quite nervous. Especially since I failed it twice in my marathon run. Come on, why did it not boom? I lost a little bit of time because of that. Annoying, but it's not the end of the world. I promise you it's not. <laughs> there, I gave you a hint. It's not that. And if you got it right, I would deny it as much as possible, <laughs> so, yeah, just saying. Yeah, I know I did Duanium, but it stayed red for so long. <laughs> Please. Yes. Alright, I'm on his eye. That is exactly what I want. By the way, kids, this is really hard. Once again, you can skip all the cycles, and if you get it perfectly, you can stay on his eye for the whole fight, but that is the hardest thing ever. And this is the easy way to do it. It's not as consistent, but it's at least manageable. Did I actually hit him? So I have a feeling that I did, but at the same time I have a feeling that I didn't. Oh my goodness, there are no rocks. That actually hit him somehow. I was not expecting that to hit. Are you kidding me? Stop hitting me! Sometimes he just does that for no reason, and it's dumb. Boom! I'm too good. Okay, that was actually decent enough. I mean, 100%. Surely you... Surely, <laughs> okay, I don't know what you're doing 100% because I don't know how the bonus items work. 
That wasn't, but that was fairly fast. It wasn't super fast, but it was decent enough. Hey, slug. Considering how terrible this boss fight is. Can this be the night that I get a really good PB? That's not a bad thing. As long as it... Unfortunately, our hopes for skipping this tank or the previous tank are pretty much zero. This is how far behind I am compared to my summer best. And there are some levels like Finding Mr. Incredible and Secret Art Labs where I have a ton of time to save all my golds. I mean, sub one's not going to happen, alright, but. If I play really well, I can get a really good time. It's the only major mistake so far is that I died at dash level. Yeah, same. How many tanks are there even in the game? <laughs> the point is, we skip a few of them, but there are some we cannot skip. I hate the skip because of doesn't work. It just doesn't always work. For some reason, it just doesn't work sometimes. It wasn't too slow, but it could have been faster. Then the game decided to do that. Which is something that very rarely happens, but it can happen. Oh, there's seven, there are seven tanks in the game? Man. I thought there were like five, but... <laughs> since... You know, I... Or I skipped all of the skippable ones in my... Casual playthrough, since my casual playthrough actually wasn't casual, it was me learning the game. <laughs> you know, I managed to skip those tanks. Because Spidey found all the tank skips. Please get the skip in this level. Because this level is a run killer. I mean, it doesn't lose time because you have to do it, but it takes a long time. I think that's what you're trying to say, Mega Speed. We don't count the battle arenas. <laughs> battle arenas are insignificant at any percent and cheap percent and all categories except 100%. nice and quick. Yeah, like, Incredibar is strangely an Xbox and PC exclusive glitch. We can just see through Mrs. Incredible and see a butt. 
one thing that's even stranger is that it works in the Germany's actual version, but the crane room does doesn't work. Well, I didn't think you were going to count the arenas. I didn't even think about the arenas. You're like me, Cube. You take everything literally. <laughs> okay, the same thing that happened in my marathon run didn't happen when the guy somehow survived and hit the switch. If the same thing happened in my marathon run happens here, then yeah, I won't be happy. I missed it. Oh my goodness! Not the end of the world, but uh, where? Where's the crane? Like, where is the crane? I don't like it when I can't find the crane. Okay, it's there. Right here we have the absolute hardest skip we do in any percent. No, that didn't work somehow. But okay, I got it. I'm not doing the mega speed strats because A, I've never practiced them and B, I don't know how easy they are. They, they seem risky, so that's why I don't want to do them. And if I don't get the skip, I kill the enemies, because the enemies are a major threat. Oh, please, hit him. Like, sometimes you, sometimes you can hit him from, like, a million miles away. Other times you have to walk right in front of their face. It's annoying. And that is the average speed, and that is an average for me. Getting this in an 8 percent run. Mega speed. I think Cube's right. There are seven in the game. We skip four of them. Two of them we skip because we don't even need to go to those levels. And two of them we skip because we're so good at the game. I don't have any incredit power of Cube. <laughs> and I'm good enough at that jump to go for it. <laughs> But this level is, that one outbounds is the hardest skip in the game, mainly because it's not only really, it's not only hard to get there, but once you, but if you fail it, and if you get stuck in the thing, you have to reset the whole level. Which, as you can imagine, you don't want to have to do. I'm going to go for the skip in this level, because there's no harm in doing so. I also haven't practiced blooming what's the level. I haven't practiced by its crossing or incredible today, so they better go fast. If this level goes correctly, I can go by half a minute.
Yeah, like this proves how much I suck. Like Cubeless, cu no, not Cubeless. Cube said twenty-one seconds on after second checkpoint is flawless, and I'm seven and I'm eight seconds behind that. So yeah, I still suck at these levels. I'm still a, I'm still a little baby when it comes to boosting. So if Cube learns to skip, he can bot my IL easy peasy. I'm gonna go for the skipping level since I've practiced it. And I might as well show you guys the skip, because I'll probably be good at it by the time you say rolls around. Boom! That is, and that is how you get the skip. That's the main difference with this level and the previous dash level. This level actually has a skip. And, it's, and the chance of a skip happening in the other dash level are like zero because of the way that level is designed. And the way these dash levels are programmed. Those combining factors just mean that skips in these levels is just something that's not possible. Just don't die here and I will be alright. No, they haven't. They're releasing it in May. This is going to be an easy gold. Why is it never easy? Okay, interesting. I used way too much in Gradometer, like that was just dumb. I'm gonna have to pick this up. Just don't hit me, and I'll be okay. Super duper. Just in this row is 100% consistent as well. Let's hope this level one goes. Let's hope this level goes quickly because this level can go really slowly if you're not careful. First, I've got to get the skip first or second try. Missed it first try, but it's fine. Like, you don't actually lose time if you miss it first try. At least with the skip I'm doing. Okay, now I'm going to start losing time. Please get it fourth try. Like, fourth try at least. No, I'm turning too much. I'm turning too much. Oh. Come on, this skip is kind of dumb at times. I'm going to wait. Okay, got it. Nearly didn't, but... 
I got it. That skip is really hard, so I'm really happy that I got it. You just gotta destroy the generator normally if you don't get it. Please get the skip. Like, there's one really hard skip coming up. So if I can just get it, that would be really good. And I didn't do the skip in my PB. It's just another reason for me to really want that skip. Alright, now it's time for the moment of truth. Not exactly what I wanted, but whatever. Please get this, please. Oh, I missed it. Okay, missing it first try isn't a big deal. Like, it's a really annoying because it loses like half a minute. Like, it is a significant time loss, but it's not the end of the world. Because the skip itself saves like a minute and a half. Like, you can fail this skip like three times. Also, failing the skip loses less time than failing the intended route. Oh my goodness, I failed it again! Uh, so annoying. That's a minute lost now. I think I can still save time compared to my PB, but I've got to be careful. Why did he die? Why did the glitch not last? If I get it now, I think I'll still be fast in doing the intended route. First try. Oh my goodness! This skip sometimes works really well for me, other times it doesn't. It's really annoying. <sighs> but I should be able to fail like hundreds of times without losing a significant amount of time. Like, I can fail it plenty of times and still PB. Oh yeah, I'm a, I have a massive time save in the final level as well, I forgot. Hi there, Peter. Fourth try, are you kidding me? Fourth try is not good. Fourth try is no Gucci. First try is all that matters. Second try, I'll take it. Third try, really annoying. Fourth try... Ugh. I'm probably losing time compared to my PBF failed to skip. Oh! <laughs> I hit the invisible wall! Young be losing like an entire minute in the level compared to my PB now. I sure could use a massage. <laughs> Please, I just want a PB. I just don't miss that. Get oh my! <laughs> Yeah, may I remind there are like three minutes of the level left. <laughs> it's 
skip isn't that hard. I'm just messing it up really stupidly. Like, that is all that is happening. <sighs> this game's hard. Well, at least it's still on PB pace. Like, this run is terrible. Like, this was just a total run killer. Turn a pretty decent run into a train wreck. <laughs> Why didn't you grab on? I made that split name before the skip was even found. <laughs> now I'm losing time to pass my PB. I'm not going to be that far out of my PB anymore. The best part about people like Mega Speed is that they have bad English. Their English is terrible. Like they just cannot say things the way they're supposed. To. And please get this jump. This jump is not hard. Like this jump is really, really easy. Really, really easy. Why aren't I making the jump? But they think that their English is actually really good and that we're the ones who suck. I want to PB in this round. If I don't PB, I'm going to be triggered. Still gonna be ahead of my PB after I finish this next action. Unless I die. Then in that case I definitely won't be ahead. Mega Speed, it's the way you're phrasing it which is making us confused. Like that's what's confusing us. But when you get a really decent run, and then all of a sudden you get to one of the hardest levels in the game and it completely screws you over. Well, that is pretty triggering. That's all I'm going to say. Just please. I want to save all the time I can in these next two levels. Look at that. I can save four minutes in that level. 41 seconds here, 40 seconds here. So sub 105 is dead thanks to that level. URC. That does not make any grammatical sense either. But we're not here to be grammar Nazis. I'm here to bloom and get a PB in this game and just you know, and have something a little bit more presentable. Also, these are splits are going to be really hard to run against as well.
Lol. <laughs> you got a point, Cube. I'll give you that. You got a point. <laughs> Okay, got that. That jump is quite scary. It's certainly not easy. I got hit, but that's not a big deal. Because I want to get hit anyway. I don't even know how I lost all that time in the final level in my PvE. One thing I realised, something we could definitely do for IILs, I don't know if he is useful in a, in an actual full run, but in IILs at least, in the final level, in the final section, we could actually pause buffer to, you know, make sure that we get the right position. I mean, we could do an A percent if we want to, but I don't know if that would actually be fast. Feels bad, man. I mean, my stream should have quality options, but I guess sometimes Twitch likes to glitch out. No! This isn't hard. I'm just sucking. I'm just sucking. I'm the one who's sucking! Hard. The game's not sucking hard, I'm sucking hard. Because this is easy. And I hate it when you mess up easy stuff. Like, hard stuff, alright. Easy stuff, no. That's like, I don't know how much time I lost there. Like, 15 seconds? I don't know. Still PB. I just want a PB. Like that's the main thing I want to do. Stop hitting me, please. Flying dudes I want to kill mainly. The flying saucers I want to kill because they're annoying, but killing them is not fast. <laughs> the game wants you to kill certain enemies. I might die here. I don't want to die here. And the hit detection in this blooming level triggers me as well. Like, the hit detection is just awful. Look how many these guys are alive. I don't like that turret section. I've never died there, but there's always. This, but you're always afraid that you're gonna die there. Because there's just so much stuff on the screen.
one of the main things I got to remember. I hate it when they shoot you and you can't charge and you have like a slow punch. That's annoying. <laughs> Gotta roll these things around. I might look at that later. Is that all the switches? I think I've only pulled two. I could be wrong though. Right, they all seem to be moving. So, yes, they are. Whoa! Nearly missed that. <laughs> that was close. How am I not further behind? Please don't shoot me. If they shoot me, I will not be happy. Like, they're really on the hunt for me right now. Alright, I'm saving time at least. Just gotta save time in this level. I wanna get 106 in this run. I won't cry if it doesn't happen. I hate it when he actually throws it in front of your face. Because where he aims the stuff is just completely random. Like, sometimes he completely misses you, other times he aimbots you. It's not, it's not very nice, and it's quite annoying. And then you combine that with the knockback, and it ain't a free combo. Okay, I managed that. Lol. <laughs> when you miss roll inputs. Lol. Well, it doesn't even try and aim for you. When you try and dodge it, but you're so good at trying to dodge it that it completely predicts where you're going to try and dodge it. I think I have. Well, if you mean the final phase. <laughs> Give me health, please. Because dying on this fight is going to be the most painful thing. Oh, 
Okay, where can I find a rock? Alright, I found a rock. It kind of took me longer to use it than I would have liked. Although that is pretty much on my fault. Alright, let's get the final hit. Let's get 106. I might try pause buffer strats. Or I'm just going to YOLO it first try. Boom. That was a pretty smooth ending, not gonna lie. That was a really, really fast ending. <laughs> Whew. Okay, new world record, new PB. Nice. Could be way faster, but, you know, I got a new PB. I can highlight it and all that stuff. <laughs> so that's pretty good. I'm happy about that. I have something even better to submit to ESA. I kind of don't because... The late game was so horrendous. I mean, see, I lost so much time in Secret Lava Labs. But <laughs> it's not its not even 2.20, though. It's literally, like, four minutes. Could have easily been sub 105. Could have been easily been 103, but it wasn't. But it was still a PB, so that's cool. I mean, the strong could have been a lot better. And... Most of the run was actually pretty decent, but the end just completely fell apart. And it's just dumb. But yeah, I'm pretty much done with this run. Now, last skip, credit skip, unplug controller, easy peasy skip for the credits. Shoutouts to all my incredible boys as well for being here and being great people.